Hey guys, I want to start off this video by apologizing in advance for the what will most likely be shakiness throughout the video. I normally use a business card holder to prop up my phone, but it's been a while since I filmed a video and I can't find it. I didn't feel like digging around. I just want to get this filmed. Um, so please just bear with me. This is actually a couple orders from Kringle Candle. The first of these orders I actually placed not long after my last January order. So that was um, earlier this year. They had a bunch of their old style candles on clearance and I picked up a bunch and then I ended up placing one more order that I didn't film. So, because it was like two candles, but I wanted to share those with you, or at least one of them really. Um, so I'll start with that. I did end up picking up this, um, I think this was the four inch went, uh, summer light, I think it was called in the scent under the sea. And this unfortunately is, I don't think that this is available in their new style. I think it's completely discontinued. Um, but the notes on it were something like, it was like tea, I don't, was it tea? No, maybe it was like lemon and there was a wood, something about wood in there. And this candle, what it smells like to me, it smells pretty similar to Yankee's Early Sunrise. And you didn't definitely get like a white tea scent to it with a, a tiny bit of citrus. So the throw is pretty light. Um, but you can see the candle. I mean, it's it's beautiful when it burns, and it's doing pretty well. It's uh, got a full wax pool. Um, it says, you know, just in there, single wick. I have had a little bit of trouble with tunneling in this one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I actually like their two wick tumblers a lot more than I like the single wick candles so um, and I'll get into that in a minute the other candle I placed the order because of this one and it was 50% off at the time and I just loved the label I thought it was so gorgeous so I, I um, caved and got it and it is still available right now although it's full price but you may be interested in picking it up I know candle Kringle's been having like a lot of interesting deals lately where you get you can get a free candle um, so I wanted to go ahead and share this with you and the scent description on pumpkin frosting is pumpkin creamy frosting cotton candy crystals sweet vanilla and anise and this I have to say is very different this is nothing like a Bath and Body Works pumpkin cupcake the scent on this is much um, it's pretty sweet it's like it, it sounds weird to say like cotton candy crystals but I can kind of see that in, or see that I can kind of smell that in this. There's just something different about it that gives it like a little zest, a sugary zest. Um, so yeah, I like this one and the throw on this is pretty decent. I'd say it's probably a, like a medium. So I'm happy this one with this one. Um, I recommend it if, uh, if you've been thinking about checking it out. Okay. So next, uh, this next order was I placed this order recently and I had seen the advertisements where they were offering um, it was like a free beverage dispenser with some uh, glasses and I was kind of tempted it said it was like a $40 value and you could get it for free with a hundred dollar purchase I'm like no no because I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars and then I'm gonna get this thing that I could have if I really wanted it which I don't really need it I'm going to get this thing, like, I could get this at TJ Maxx for $13 if I really wanted a beverage dispenser instead of spending 100 bucks. So I passed. Well, I guess it was a couple weeks later, they had a promotion where you could get um, this candle, the strawberry lemonade candle for free, with a $50 purchase. So I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to bite on this one because look at how beautiful that looks. So uh, I put a couple candles in my cart because there were some things that I wanted. And then it told me that 
if I spent a hundred dollars, I could get the beverage dispenser. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I guess I'll do it. Um, and then, so I put a hundred dollars in my cart and it was like 110 and I'm thinking, oh, if I spend $40 more, I could get free shipping. So, um, which really like 150 is a lot for free shipping when their flat rate is, what is it like 599 or 699? That really is not a big incentive to do the 150, but I did do it. So, um, yeah, gorgeous candle. Uh, where's the thing? Okay. The description says strawberries, lemon peel, sugar cane, sheared musk and vanilla bean. This one is interesting. There's like a, a red fruit in here. I wouldn't immediately identify it as strawberry. You definitely get like a sugary lemon scent, but it kind of reminds me a lot of um, Bath and Body Works pomegranate lemonade or like their, their pink sangria scent, both of which have been discontinued for years, a couple years now. But it's got like that zesty freshness to it uh, where, yeah, it's mostly, it's a very light lemon. But yeah, there's, like I said, also kind of a red fruit scent to it. Um, I might not guess that this is strawberry, but it's pretty nice. I haven't burned it yet, but I do, I do like the scent. Uh, okay. Then a couple I absolutely had to have. This one, so this is warm cotton. Oh, man. This is just hands down one of my favorite scents. This is similar to, there was a, Febreze has a scent. I forget what it was called. It was like meadow clothesline, fresh meadow something um, that I first experienced several years ago. It was kind of towards the, the end of summer and my mom had it. Actually, I picked up one and my mom had it in her house. And for whatever reason, like I developed a strong scent memory for that like time period with the scent. And I just love this. It is just, it's such a unique, um, clean scent for me. And usually I'm not a huge fan of fabric scents, but this says it's white flowers, green powder, jasmine, nugget, rose, wood, musk, citrus. So great one. I'm, I have this in one of their single wicks and actually this candle did arrive broken and I was kind of appalled at like the packaging because it was literally like the candles were all thrown together. Like all of these candles were thrown together in a box of packing peanuts. Um, along with my beverage dispenser. I'll show you that in a minute. And so like you couldn't see and I reached in there and I, I could have like cut myself. Um, so I'm like, I, I called them, of course they replaced it, which their customer service is good. But you know, I told them, I was like, I can't believe you guys would just put the candle, all these candles in there like that. It's pretty crazy. Um, and then of course my replacement arrived just the same way. So I don't know why everybody's skimping on the packaging of these things. I mean, come on, put some bubble wrap around them, please. So anyway, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this one. And another one I had been eyeing is the apple pie scent. Another beautiful label. Well, let me see. I'm wondering if my camera smudged. Hang on. Is that better? I can't tell. Um, just love the label on this one. And the description is apple, cinnamon, honey, clove, butter, baked. Some of these weird, these words, they're not, they're not nouns. They're like adjectives. I don't know. Vanilla and brown sugar. So this is a decent apple scent. It's, <sighs> it's not amazing. Um, it just kind of. It smells like a lot of other stuff that's available out there. So, um, it probably, yeah, I, I wouldn't get this one again, just because I feel like I can get this fragrance from some other company in a much cheaper form. So, 
Um, but I mean, it's fine. It's good. I'm gonna enjoy it, and it is strong. Like I'm, I'm like I said earlier, I'm very happy. I'm pretty happy with the performance of their two wick tumblers. I know they've been known for kind of being their scents have been known for being light or like non-existent, but my experience with the um, these has been pretty good. All right. When I was on the fence about, but I love, again, I love the label, love the concept. This is Espresso Crema. And it's kind of weird. I was trying to figure out what that was. I guess it's like the espresso coming out of the, the filter on a cappuccino machine. Um, it looks kind of weird, but it's, it's pretty at the same time. It's striking. And the description for this is coffee bean, creamy vanilla, warm caramel, sweet milk, honey, brown sugar. This one, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed in it. Um, it's got, there's something about it that has this sharp, it's like a sharp note to me that I've smelled in other things and I don't enjoy. Um, when it burns, it's a little bit better, but it mostly has, it mostly kind of smells like a caramel scent. There's really not a whole lot of coffee to this one. So it's fine. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase, but, um, anyway, I'm, I'm glad to have it because I don't know. It's, uh, these, I'm so afraid I'm going to break this. I'm going to leave that. Okay. Then next up was apple cider donuts. I've never try this. I think I have a daylight in this that I bought um, just so I could see what the scent was going to smell like. And I ended up, I haven't burned it, but I ended up going ahead and getting this because so many people, you know, talk about how good it is. And um, so let me grab the lid. It says apple spice, cinnamon, apple cider, sugar, crystals, gourmand, and maple. Again, gourmand, it's like, is that a thing? Uh, so not, I'm not blown away by this one either. It's just an apple, another apple cinnamon scent that's like, it's probably less bakery than apple pie, but yeah, I just feel like I could get this somewhere else for cheaper. So I uh, probably would not get another one of these. Now, the two favorites, my two favorites. First up, have rosemary lemon. And I did pick this up in a daylight so I could smell it. So I was very curious. Look at that gorgeous label. It's just very elegant. The description on this is lemon, lime, rosemary, ylang, jasmine, orchid, herbs, peach. Interesting. Teakwood. Definitely don't smell peach in this. This is very much an herbal, a lemon kind of scent. This is the kind of scent that if you like fry something or cook something super pungent and you want the smell to go away, this is what you burn in your kitchen. And in fact, we did that. We had fried fish um, a few weeks ago and I like lit this immediately after we finished cooking and I couldn't smell the fish at all. So this scent is strong. I love it. It's like, like I said, the, the rosemary, it's a perfect balance of rosemary and lemon. Um, it's not really sweet or anything. I could see myself, once I finish this, I could see myself getting another, like a large candle in this. So, um, and I didn't get a large candle in this one and, or the apple cider donut in my last one, just because um, I was trying to keep to the 150 like as closely as possible. And I was able to do that by like, I think these are like $3 cheaper than the large, which I know the larger a better deal, but um, it kind of adds up. So I ended up not spending, I guess, $9 that I didn't want to spend. So by getting this size. And then finally, my biggest surprise, I had picked up, um, a daylight in this when this was first released so I could see what it smelled like and I just wasn't impressed when I smelled it. Well, I went ahead and for whatever reason, I was like, I want to get it. 
because I love the description of it. It's a homemade waffle cone, vanilla, powdered sugar, caramel, and butter. Um, so I got it and I'm thinking, man, I'm going to be disappointed with this. It's going to, it's not going to be very strong. I love this candle. I love this. This is a absolutely wonderful vanilla bakery scent. And in fact, I brought it to work one day and I was burning it. And one of my coworkers came in and she's like, you know, I really, I hate vanilla scents, but that smells amazing. So <laughs> that goes to show you like I'm, ugh. In fact, last weekend, they had a promotion where you could get a large one of these for free with a $50 purchase. And I was very tempted and I told myself no. And now I'm regretting that I didn't do it. So I was like, you know, finish this one first at least. Finish your medium first. This is an awesome scent. Just so delicious. So very happy with that one. I highly recommend it. And sorry, I'm not getting this to you, uh, getting this video to you in time for you to have taken advantage of that. But you know, like I said, Kringle's been offering free uh, free candles, so maybe you'll have the opportunity to get it. You know, to get something else for free. So, and then I did get, like I said, the beverage dispenser um, and the the jars, uh, the drinking glasses, which. It came with four, but one of them is actually in the dishwasher right now. So they do have lids on them. And the beverage dispenser is pretty nice. It's one of these brands, I forget what it's called, like Home Essentials or something like that, where you could find them at TJ Maxx or Burlington. And it is not, it's not a $40 value. I'm sorry. I know this thing is probably about, at most, this is like a $13 beverage dispenser and then these jars right here maybe 10 so you're looking at 23 yeah so 40 is a stretch for this thing um but it is it's fine it's cute I've used it um and I didn't have one before so now I do have one and I can when I'm working outside fill it with water and I can put it on my patio and you know don't have to run inside to get something to drink so anyway Okay, well, I think that about does it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this this helped you with, um, you know, making some decisions about ordering some things from Kringle. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.